Hello, and now how's it going? Welcome to another episode of the John Graves Show, dropping a whole bunch of gaming news because, again, I kind of have to start picking it up with my channel again, so let's get right into it. Yeah. Starting off today, well, this comes like last month though, but still, Dead Rising is possibly coming to PlayStation 4 as that um, X Phase website, the people who do look over the um, the PlayStation trophies and whatnot, they found a listing for the Dead Rising trophies upon their upon that site, and and even though that that there haven't been any listings upon it. And yes, I would like to see the original Dead Rising pop up on PlayStation, especially since, if possible, Dead, Dead Rising 4, it could be coming over to the PlayStation 4 as well. Like, it would be a good starting point to also have one, one along with two on there, or at least, like, two and off the record are on PlayStation. But still, like, there's, but still, they're kind of missing that little, like, five dollar DLC that that was the prequel for Dead Rising 2 so of course like it would be nice to act to actually see that in there but but like that's very difficult to say because again like, Microsoft is very picky and choosy when it comes to Dead um, uh, to Dead Rising I mean I like it for PlayStation I mean like I like the series but for some reason they really don't want Sony to uh, to pretty much even like mess around with that I don't even get it but Mm. Moving on though, for those of you who kind of wanted to know more about The Walking Dead Season 3, it gets a brand new screen, uh, it gets brand new screens and a poster that actually plays, that actually pays homage back, back to the first uh, poster, and it looks actually really, really, really good. I mean, the screens, they actually, they actually do show like an older Clement, uh, an older Clementine, Honestly, if, if I could guess her age, she's probably maybe around like 13 or 14, maybe. I, I don't think that like five years have gone by, but but um, she has, but like if she's 12 at this point, because uh, cause I think for season two, she was actually 10 or 11 there. Because um, she was uh, nine at the end of, she was not at the end of um, the first season. Then some months went by, and then, then like a year after what's name died, um, after uh, after Omid died. So it's a good chance this one she's probably third, thirteen or fourteen, maybe. But on top of that, we do kind of get 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 a look at a brand new character, who which that they do claim has never been in the um, in the comics or anything else, which. Which, to be fair, most of these characters, I mean, like, honestly, the only two characters who ever popped up, like, in the comics was either Lily or, or in all three mediums, it was, um, it was, um, Glenn. But other than that, though, all these brand new characters, they're all just, they're, say, they're all new to this game. But either way, it's the brand new adult figure. His name is Javier. And of course, he seems to be to finally take on the Lee role. Hopefully, I do like him, like like him as much as Lee. And I don't really know like how they're gonna work the whole Kenny. Now, forget the other girl's name who that um, he was he was fighting with. I kind of forget them, but I do wonder how they're gonna work 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 them into this story, especially since she's supposed to be walking around with somebody else. So that is something, of course. But and uh, and also finally. World of Final Fantasy gets three different kinds of um, collector's editions. Well, they have a collector's edition, a limited edition, and a day one edition. And apparently, the uh, all this is supposed to come out before Oc uh, Oc uh, Oc October. So, of course, you have the PlayStation 4 version, which is um, the collect the collector's edition, which is $120 exclusively um, uh, through the Square Enix online store. Hopefully, this this, this isn't sold out yet, but. Um, in addition to the copy of the game, it has a special pop-up book, includes 80, uh, 80 pages, uh, art, uh, art, art book, original soundtrack, many, say many figurines of Cloud Light, the Lightning Squall, uh, and a bonus dig digital goods, including a Sephiroth Summon, a white Choco Chocobo Mirage, and Japanese voiceover options, and more. Moving on to the limited edition, however, they also have, um, uh, which goes for $60, 
Um, you, uh, it includes the game with special pack packaging, also a 24-page art, uh, art, uh, art book and a special bonus content uh, fe featuring the collecting, the um, say featured in the collector's edition. And finally, they have the day one edition, which is also 60 bucks for PlayStation and for play for, for PlayStation 4 and also for Vita. And that one will run you. Um, well, the one for Vita will be 40 bucks, but pretty much it comes with a physical copy of the game and extra digital uh, uh, digital content, which is found uh, upon the limited game. I mean, like which is found on the collectors and the limited edition. So. So you do have your pick, and I do believe that you do have your choices like between which one, and of course, all this is supposed to come out before October 28th. So if you are looking forward to getting that, you have my blessing. Hopefully the limited, um, the um, collector's edition that you can still pick that up because this is kind of, because this one was a while ago, so hopefully you still can. But until then, I'll see you next time on the next Next Down Grave Show. Keep watching anime, keep playing video games. Tell me what you think about this down there in the comment section. I'll see you next time. I'm out. Hello, wonderful internet people. I know that you love this video, and I know that you love what I had to say. Even though it was a bit long-winded, still, I still appreciate it. But until then, please... Please, if you like my video, please, please leave me a like, please comment and tell me your thoughts upon what happened or at least what I talked about. And also, until further notice, you can check this book out um, until August 6th. It is free, just a small reminder from the beginning. And yeah, I'll see you next time on the, uh, on the next John Graves show. You know what to do. Stay happy. I'm out.